this hat is 88 and I turn it sideways and it's like two infinity signs so I wear this one from time to time and we're going to understand things What are you talking about now? I'm talking about you really seeing. Seeing the trees in the background. How about seeing informationally? Knowing. This is an interesting thing. Someone says a dilemma. Possibly a dilemma. But let's go with this is a way, way advanced topic. And that is the new O sphere, which was coined by a Catholic priest, Pierre. Might be De Chardin, C H A R D I N, Teilhard de Chardin. But he coined the term Nuosphere, and it was um, a consciousness field uh, around Earth, the same way that we have an atmosphere, we have a Nuosphere. So, atmosphere gives us the air that we need to breathe, a Nuosphere gives us the knowingness that we need to live. So is this a new thing developing or is it already here and somehow we didn't get connected up to it? Or we were connected up to it and then uh, Adam and Eve fell from grace and they cut us off from the new sphere. And we're still trying to get back to the garden. Anyway, it's not easy to get this idea across that the new sphere, the knowingness uh, of the earth, is here. You got it. Now, why do I feel nervous? Why can't I make a decision about things? If I got the right facts, shouldn't I be able to make the right decisions? This is also your, someone again says dilemma, this is again my separate person. If you are a separate person from me, then um, I just have a communication with you. If you're going to give me some information, uh, anyway, it's not going to work that way because it doesn't work that way. The knowingness of the new sphere for you is all about who you are, not what you should be doing who you are. <coughs> who are you? The new sphere says you are not what you think you are. You are not a physicality that dies when it gets to be a certain age of old age. You are you always. And the experience of having a human body around you is probably going to happen again and again and again and again. Because the physical form gives you a sense of where you are. That's all we have for you, but we want you to remember that knowing who you are is the instinct of never-ending distresses. Because if you know who you are, then you have limited, limited yourself to that particular conception that you got, or, or a realization, someone might use realization because they don't like the words concepts, but realization 
deep understanding, inner standing, and for you to consult the new sphere as to, okay, what should I be doing? That is a good idea because the new sphere is a knower. If you're not connected to the new sphere now, how are you getting your information? We might say, it don't, we can't tell you. We don't know how much of the information you get is new sphere, how much of it is mainstream news on the TV set, and how much of it is, generally speaking, um, I don't know, fill in the blank, the last one. And the reason we want to bring this up is the idea somehow that we are ascending in consciousness must have been an important statement to get a siren out of it uh, we are in your world that is all of us and we are your instinctual idea of separate being If we're not separate, then how much connected are we? Like 10% connected? Uh, are we like the Borg on Star Trek? A hive mind and we're connected by electronic gizmos that are like Elon Musk's Neuralink? This has been another day of being the Joker and the Fool. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and share. And if you have any comments, we love to get comments. And um, we want to thank our viewers that are helping to answer questions that we pose or other people pose. Because, um, just because. <laughs>